Hello there, welcome, and thank you for viewing this video. Thank you for viewing my channel. This is going to be a general monthly tarot reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius, Sun and Rising Venus for the month of November 2019. Um, I'm going to go over love, work, and finance, health, and self-development within this reading. I'm going to pull four cards per topic. If I feel like I didn't get enough out of that, then I'll pull um, some clarifiers, but it just depends. Um, also, I don't really do the long intros. Um, it, I can never remember what I want to say, and it drains me of my energy, so... Um, you know, what I would say in an intro is located down in the description box below. Also, along with a disclaimer that I would like you to check out because, as I hope you know, um, I am not a medical professional. I am not um, a legal or financial advisor. I'm also not a psychological professional. If you need any of those services, I hope you'll seek professional help because you will not find it within this video or any other tarot reading for that matter. Um, ooh, that was a mouthful. Um, that's what she said. Um, but... What's I going to say here? Um, there's something else I wanted to say. Oh, um, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, a uh, comment. People are obnoxious. You can hear literally everything that goes on, on outside in this room. I really need to move rooms when I do readings. But anyways, um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment, please share, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications for when I upload new content. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So, um, I normally, I do love first and I go over the current overall energy, your feelings, your person's feelings, and the potential for the connection. So, that's what I want to do here. Aquarius. Um... So the chariot's coming up. Is I feel like somebody's moving on. Somebody's moving on, whether it's you or this other person. This is a Cancerian energy here with the chariot. I feel like somebody's moving on. That's the overall energy, the overall theme of this love reading. King of Cups, so this is you. I feel like you're remaining grounded, emotionally grounded. Um, <clears throat> yeah, with this Five of Swords here, because I feel like somebody's playing games here. I feel like somebody um, wants you to chase them, and I feel like you're not going to do it. I feel like you're not going to do it. I feel like you're not going to budge. This is Scorpionic energy, by the way, this King of Cups. Um, yeah, with this Five of Swords, this is Venus and Aquarius. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody wants you to fight for them here, and I feel like you're not doing it, and you're right in not doing that. Um, I feel like you're going to maintain grounded here in the month of November. Um, I feel like you are in your head about it, though, here with this Four of Swords uh, coming up as the potential. I feel like you're in your head about it. Um, yeah, but I feel like you're going to walk away from it, ultimately. Uh, Piscean Energy, Eight of Cups, yeah. You're going to Eight of Cups, this bitch. You're going to walk away from this. This Five of Cups, yeah, this person's going to be grieving over it, um, this is Scorpio, Scorpionic energy, yes. Um, yeah, I feel like this person's going to grieve over it. They're going to wish they didn't play games. They're going to be looking back at you, wishing they didn't play games here, Aquarius. So that's what I feel like saying here in love. It sucks, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have said it sucks, but that's not the best. That's not the best, but not everything can be the best, right? That's what I feel like saying here. So we're moving on to work and finance here, Aquarius. Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're juggling two jobs. Some of you could be juggling two jobs. This is the current situation. Some of you could just be, um, some of you could have a decision between two jobs. Some of you could be, um, could have options here. Um, but I, for the most part, I feel like you're juggling two projects, two jobs, something of that nature. Two options. So yeah, that's, that's the theme here juggling two things um so five of wands here coming up is your strengths i feel like you have a lot of passion a lot of will a lot of drive here all this friction here i feel is um you know i feel like this is all of your ideas um kind of joining forces um this is leo energy leo is ruled by the sun so i feel like saying and the sun is present here as well i'll get to that here in just a second but yeah I feel like saying that, you know, you have a lot of passion here, you have a lot of drive, you have a lot of ideas, but with this Three of Pentacles being present in the weakness position, I don't feel like you're really getting recognition for them, but I feel like that's because you're not really putting in the work to get the recognition, is what I feel like saying there, you're not really putting your ideas out there, um, is what I want to say, um, so that's what I feel like saying there. I feel like you need to step into the light here, especially with the sun energy being present. I feel like you need to step into the light. I feel like you need to put your ideas out there, uh, whether it's to your supervisor, uh, your team. Um, you know, if you're working in like social media, maybe you need to advertise a little bit more. Um, this nine of cups here. Yeah. I feel like if you step into the light, if you put yourself out there a little bit more, advertise a little bit more is what I feel like saying here. Advertise your ideas, advertise your, um, platform, whatever the case may be. I feel like it'll lead to, um, wish fulfillment, you know, something to celebrate here, success to celebrate. Uh, yeah. Ten of pentacles, abundance. Yeah. That's what I feel like saying here. I feel like saying step into the light, put yourself out there a little bit more, make yourself more known is what I feel like saying here, Aquarius, in work and finance. So, 
make your ideas known. Health, I pull mind, body, soul, and potential. So, um, I'm liking this. So, coming up in the mind position, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, um, you know, it's not a big cup of fucking rainbows or anything like that. It, cups are emotion, right? I feel like this is, I feel like you're very emotionally stable. You're very in tune with your emotions right now, Aquarius, here in the month of, um, November. Um, yeah, I feel like you're very in tune with your emotions. You're very balanced. Um, you're not really fighting any emotion off, which is, um, you know, that's the healthy thing to do, right? Is to not fight emotion off, is to feel things. Um, you know, whether they are, whether they feel good or not, you know, they serve, they serve their purpose. Every emotion serves its purpose, and I feel like you're realizing that. Okay, so emotional fulfillment, that's what I feel like saying there. Emotional balance, emotional stability is what I feel like saying. Um, Four of Wands here in the body position. I feel like this is good news. I, I always get like good news off the Four of Wands. Something you wish for here with this 1111. Something to celebrate. Some kind of growth here. I'm also getting weight loss off of this. Weight loss, also pregnancy. Um, for some, news of pregnancy. Um, the Magician here uh, coming up as... Um, in the soul position. Um, I feel like you could be working on manifestation, law of attraction, things of that nature. Um, that's something that, um, you know, magician is a card of manifestation. He's kind of handing it to the, hand, he's kind of, ha fuck, <laughs> he's kind of handing it to, to the universe here. Uh, the things that he's wished for, he's not really focusing too hard on it. He's just kind of handing it to the universe and accepting that, you know, he's, you know, because when you're trying to manifest something and you focus on it too hard, you're kind of putting a blockage out there because you're saying that you don't really trust that it's going to come in. So, um, I feel like you could be realizing that, um, you know, that could be something that is blocking your blessings, blocking the things that you're trying to manifest. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like you could be working on, um, law of attraction here, manifestation, um, things of that nature coming up as a potential death. Um, yeah, I feel like you're putting a death to something, to some kind of cycle here, um, and, you know, there's a rebirth on the horizon is what I feel like saying there. Um, you know, that could be this, um, you know, fighting off your, um, the emotions that don't feel so good. That's, that could be what you're putting a death to. Um, you know, and it could be the birth of emotional stability. That's what I feel like saying there, the birth of manifestation, uh, the birth of a child, even with this. So that's what I feel like saying there in the health position, Aquarius. So let's move on to self-development. Okay, so, um, the way that I pull for self-development is I do the current overall energy in self-development. Obstacles you might be facing is the second card. The third card is, um, what you need to focus on, and the fourth card is the potential. If you haven't noticed, there's kind of a pattern here with, um, you know, all four spreads that I do. Um, they all end in the potential, and the potential to me is like, um, kind of like a combination of a potential outcome and also advice you know it's outcome if you take this advice it's you know it's kind of just wrapped into one um but that's what i feel like saying here i feel like when you say potential people don't rely so heavily on it but anyways the tower coming up here <laughs> the tower i was stalling because i know people i know that this card freaks people out but you know the tower it's um you know it's tearing things down so you can renovate is what I feel like saying. Um, it's inevitable change because it's change that has to happen. The tower isn't a bad card, right? Um, change is always good. So that's what I feel like saying here. Um, you know, in self-development, there's going to be changes that happen. You're going to be knocking some towers down so you can rebuild. Um, you know, anything that was built on a, on a faulty foundation, I feel like you're tearing that down. Um, or anything that has become unstable. You're tearing that down. I feel like something has become unstable um, with this Seven of Wands here. Now, this isn't how I normally... But look at this figure on the Seven of Wands. He is pissed, right? I feel like this person... I feel like this is what's blocking you. This is coming up. But look at it. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like that it's focusing on it. I, I'm sure you can't see that, but it was focusing on the face, and it was freaking me out. But Seven of Wands, yeah. I feel like this is a person here. I feel like this is a really toxic person um, blocking you from things. Blocking you from things. This is your obstacle right here is this person. Um, hmm. never mind. Um, this could be an abusive situation for some of you. I know for a fact that it's an abusive situation for at least one of you, but it doesn't have to be. For some of you, this could just be a toxic person. I mean, of course, you know, they don't have to be physically abusive. They could be mentally, verbally abusive. They could be abusive and you don't even really know it. They could be manipulative. That's abusive. Uh, Eight of Swords here coming up as what you need to focus on. You need to focus on freeing yourself, releasing yourself from this person. You're not stuck there. You're really not stuck there. You know, um, Ten of Swords coming up as the, as the potential. 
um, you know, finishing out a cycle, completion. Um, that's what I get here with the Ten of Swords, completion. Uh, you know, new things on the horizon, killing off this, this obstacle here, which is this person. Um, yeah, I feel I feel really aggressive energy off of that. And I pulled, um, you know, I pulled this as well for a clarifier. Six of Swords. Moving on to Commerce Shores. Um, yeah, I feel like once you put it into this cycle, um, it's going to take a lot of stress out of your life, is what I feel like saying here. Um, you know, with this moving water down... Shit. This, <laughs> this moving water down here, this calm, this calm water over here, um, on this other side, uh, yeah, it's moving on to calmer shores, um, you know, you might be wounded here, as you see this, this, um, it looks like a female, I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be in this child in the boat here, um, somebody could also be coming to the rescue here, I feel like saying that somebody could, um, you know, be rescuing you as well, uh, from this situation, especially if it's a domestic violence situation, somebody could be rescuing you, but I feel like ultimately, you know, putting an end to this, you're going to be moving on to calmer shores here, in the month of November. So good luck. I'm sorry if that's your situation. Um, you know, just know that you're not stuck in it. Just know that you're not stuck in it. Know that you have help. Um, I would also say to get out safely. That's something else I also feel like saying. Get out safely. Don't, don't um, even, I wouldn't even tell this person if this is a domestic violence situation. I wouldn't even tell this person that you're leaving. I would just get the help that you need to get. And, um, you know, take people with you. If you, you know, if you live with this person, if it's, um, you know, if it's that serious, I would say to take people with you, you know, maybe law enforcement even, um, you know, to remove yourself from the situation to make sure that, you know, nothing happens when, when you're leaving because, um, you know, abusers tend to, yeah, you, you know, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it, but you know. Um, so, hope that resonated. Kind of hope it didn't. Uh, <laughs> kind of hope it didn't for some of you. But um, if it did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please comment, share. Subscribe to my channel, tap the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications for when I upload new content. Also, um, you know, if it didn't resonate, I'm uploading all these signs at the same time. So by the time you see this, you know, your other signs should be posted as well. So you can check those out and see if there are any messages in there for you. Um, you know, I go over a lot of things, so it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, you had different messages and different signs for things that are in your chart. So, or also, of course, you can check out other readers. But anyways, thank you for watching. 